third speaker tonight is a friend of the Udu family for over 50 years. He's a man who really needs no introduction. Uh, not only does he need no introduction, he's requested no introduction. Uh, because the other day I, I saw him, well, two, two nights ago, and I asked him, uh, how would you like him to introduce you? He just simply, in his own in his little way, turned to me and smiled and said, young man, just, just call my name, I'll take over from there. And ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, it is my privilege to introduce Sir Ellis Clark. Thank you, Master Ceremonies. My dear friends, tonight I'm faced with a very simple task. I'm representing all of you. I am speaking on behalf of the guests. Now, as I understand speeches, they're very much like a team. And therefore, I, at the moment, am batting at number 10. We have had those who were expected to score 50 or 60. They have scored centuries. And therefore, whatever extra time they have taken up will be deducted from mine. So I will accordingly be very brief. I have had no desire, of course, since he was virtually a baby. And as I say that I'm speaking on behalf of you all, I'd like to add that I'm speaking on behalf of somebody who's not here, but who would have been delighted to be here. And I refer to my dear departed wife. I say so because when Zaya was very young, he had to run the president's house. He may not have known the protocol or the etiquette, but he knew where the kitchen was, <laughs> and he knew what his own tastes were. And even though it was unconventional at a dinner at the president's house to sing about he wished, he would be able to get himself a hamburger. <laughs> so it would have been the delight of my wife to see this wonderful young man whom she'd seen over the years do today what she would particularly appreciate. She believed very much in marriage. In fact, when I first met her, some friends took her and me to a film. I was not a film boy, I knew very little about it. And it said, every girl should be married. So I did the necessary. I made sure that she was married. And uh, I know that she would have been very happy to welcome Wendy into the extended family as one of those with whom she was very close. We, the guests, would like to join in the joy of Anna and Jamila, and at last having a daughter. They have lived all these years of the son. Now they have completed the bands and they have a daughter as well. You can see the smile on Jamila's face. You can see her happiness, not only because of the wedding, but because of her anticipation. Again, I quote my wife, the happiest thing for a person is to have grandchildren. And Jamila now can look forward to that great privilege. And if you think that somebody's going to come up to Amir and say, oh, so you're a grandfather now? He replied, not really, you know, but I'm married to a grandmother. <laughs> so, Jamila is 
very much in our thoughts. Jimila, we offer you hearty congratulations. You brought up a son about whom we've heard a great deal, and it is not surprising, therefore, that he has made the marriage he has. I have known Wendy for a few years, and I'm quite convinced that I speak on behalf of all of you without having to take a poll, because these polls in the newspapers are not completely accurate. <laughs> so I prefer to take a poll from my own instinct of knowing it, and say now the percentage wishing you, Zahir, and you, Wendy, hearty congratulations, very best wishes for the future, and God's blessing. You've had that from 100% of your guests here in the secret. <laughs> 